Ah, oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, and today we're going to take a look at the latest vehicle released by Rockstar, and as you can see it's the Nagasaki, uh, uh, the Nagasaki Outlaw there, retailing for a price of effectively $1.2 million, ladies and gentlemen, uh, unless you go and get the, uh, the trade price, in which, uh, which case it's retailing at what a price, 900, uh, 950000 was it? I do believe something along those lines, and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there we go given us another buggy type car okay not uh, not terribly impressed to start with quite frankly ladies and gentlemen it's a very short wheelbase on it as you can see okay well we're going to take it on uh, out on side ladies and gentlemen and see how it handles down through these vinewood wood hills here whoops it this is okay almost lost it and solid well did okay okay yes that is really rather the problem with these short wheelbases ladies and gentlemen you can sort of they do sort of spin around you know not the most stable vehicles really okay well, we're heading on down the hills now we'll see what happens here okay getting down not a not incredible speed to be quite frank with you, uh, but what about this handling? Right, okay, getting caught from LJT, don't care about that in the slightest, you know. Uh, but we'll have a look at this top speed now, okay, like I say, not going too well, ladies and gentlemen, not a... Not very impressive, is it? You know, this is uh, the, what, the Nagasaki brand, you know, normally make uh, motorcycles, one would assume, uh, and they certainly seem to have uh, let us down here now. Okay, yes, yeah, very sluggish along here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, acceleration, not particularly good. Uh, uh, top speed, not particularly good. Handling, not particularly good. We'll take it back into the custom order. Oh, oh, hold on a moment, right, I'll take it back to the custom order. So I realized I, uh, yes, uh, neglected to do the standard lap there, haven't I? That really is rather a shame, you know. Okay, shocking oversight on my behalf, never mind, ladies and gentlemen, we'll carry on, you know, uh, top speed and all that doesn't really seem to matter that much on this car, so it won't, probably won't affect this bottom left hand corner a, a great deal, and as you can see there, ladies and gentlemen, loose traction, slightly sliding, catching and driving, that's basically the best way to do it, you know, okay, uh, we're going back around, and now on this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go and take it into the custom order, whoops, a daisy soaring hell, right, okay. Yes, like I said, listen, we're going to go on into the custom auto shop, go ahead and have an upgrade and whatnot and see how she handles uh, uh, with the necessary modifications which they've been applied to, uh, to the vehicle, you know. Uh, and here we go, we're go heading on into the custom auto shop, ladies and gentlemen, and jolly good. Okay, now as always, ladies and gentlemen, we will be going through this stage of the video at double speed, and uh, on this occasion, ladies and gentlemen, we're only going to be in here for a very, very short period of time, though, you know, uh, there's very little that you can actually affect to this vehicle. Uh, obviously, the necessary performance upgrade, turbo, uh, transmission, uh, suspension, this sort of business, uh, but in terms of aesthetic styling, ladies and gentlemen, there really is uh, only life reason uh, and the, the paint color that can be affected, you know. Uh, really, rather, really, rather sort of sparse uh, offerings there from Rockstar in terms of personalization, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're at the custom auto shop already, and we're back on the street. Okay, then, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Nagasaki Outlaw once it's been upgraded across the board, you know, in terms of performance anyway. And we're going up around here. Okay, so we can see uh, acceleration's okay now, not too bad. Uh, handling's just good, ladies and gentlemen. What can one say? You know, one of these sort of buggy cars has got very, very sharp handling. Uh, the only problem is, ladies and gentlemen, what with that, uh, that wheelbase being so, uh, uh, being so short, it just sort of want to spin out on you, you know. Uh, like I say, it's, it's sort of uh, no uh, no spoilers and whatnot. This is a sports car, very light vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. So it's going to lose traction very quickly indeed. Uh, and uh, if it wants to uh, sort of vigorous with uh, steering and whatnot, you are going to lose traction. It goes sliding all over the place. Okay, bottom left hand corner here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll make it right, okay, without sort of losing traction. Whoops, it places. Okay, yes, yeah, a little bit wide and Sonic out, right? Okay. Well, that'll give you a general idea, ladies and gentlemen. Like I say, turn sharply, you're going to lose uh, lose grip and you're going to go sliding somewhere, but you can regain it, turn slowly, it's got rather a, a wide circle. Okay, well, uh, it's an off-road vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, so let's take it off-road a little bit, shall we, then? Uh, we're heading on uh, up this uh, grass bank here, rather steep grass bank, and just making it very short work, but I can very, no, uh, no, very little difficulty laying up here. Looks like this is solid, uh, right? Okay, right, I've got it, I've got to hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Right, I think I've got it, ladies and gentlemen. No, I saw it well, haven't Okay, never mind, right, down we go. Okie dokie, uh, there we go, right, then heading on down to the beach, I do feel, you know, that's where we're going to go eventually, see if we can handle some water, uh, and there we go, jumping around, as you can see, it handles off-road perfectly well, now, see how well it handles water, we're quite shallow right now, and sodding hell, right, okay, right, seem to be driving, actually, it's rather straight, and there we go, okay, yes, well, it's there, okay, so it can't handle deep water, ladies and gentlemen, whatsoever, sort of, uh, got dragged into it, and then went, uh, gulp, gulp, you know, okay, so, but, uh, generally off-road, ladies and gentlemen, yes, you're going to fly around, you're going to have a good time in this vehicle, uh, it's going to, uh, handle, sort of, uh, this sort of terrain, no problem whatsoever, Okay, uh, the question is, how fast actually is it, you know, so we brought it up to the top speed uh, track here, ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to have a 
uh, have a look at that. How quickly you can get down here. Now, uh, some of the more uh, faster vehicles, ladies and gentlemen, get down here in about 50, uh, yeah, between 50, 51, and uh, so more can be, you know, less down with about 50, 53, uh, 54, that sort of thing. Uh, but this is an off-road vehicle, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to see what this can do. Okay, then, uh, like I say, top, the top end cars get down there, and there we go, 1 minute, 11 seconds. Okay, so, uh, well, perhaps one wouldn't expect a great deal from this vehicle, but we'll put, put up against another off-road vehicle. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Anis Helion bone tuner, uh, and we're going to see, uh, this is another off-road vehicle, as you can see, it's actually got doors and a roof on this sort of vehicle, you know, uh, and we're going to see actually how quickly this one can get down here. Not a bad vehicle, this, uh, uh, to be quite frank with you. Okay, then, uh, here we go, we're heading on down the street, and boom, 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 and what do we get? Yet. Okay, let me see. Right, okay, well, okay, so we sort of shaved six seconds off there, right? Okay, now technically, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a this is not a uh, an off-road vehicle. This is the uh, this is the Comet Safari. You know, this is technically a sports vehicle, uh, but uh, effectively it is an off-road vehicle. It's going, you know, you can drive it off-road. That's what it's designed to do. Uh, it's very rapid uh, and it's very good off-road. You know, it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't sort of uh, underperform really. You know, uh, and we're going to take it on down the straight here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see how well it handles. We're going to see what sort of uh, what sort of time uh, this car can get down there. Uh, high speed straight in. Okay, we're getting up to the end now, and here we go. Right here, one, two, three, and all that sort of business, and we're waiting for it. And there we go, 57, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so yes, uh, there we go. Uh, the, you know, significantly faster now, isn't it? Let's be quite frank about these sort of things. Okay, Koki, so should one buy the Nagasaki Outlaw? Wouldn't really recommend it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't see the purpose in it. You know, if you like, uh, if you like off-road vehicles, uh, the ones out there you could go ahead and get uh, 1.2 million. I wouldn't really say it's worth it. Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.